Yo, what's going on everybody? Riot's here today addressing all this crazy aberration stuff we just seen released on Twitch and everything at, at going on over at TwitchCon and um, just kind of checking out all this off for everybody who missed it or just going over stuff that they kind of showed but didn't actually talk about because there's a lot of awesome aberration stuff that was peaked and shown to us. For those of you who don't already know, aberration was teased that it would be released today, October 20th. But today they announced that they have a lot more tweaks they want to get done on it and everything and they went to um, just finalize it a lot more before. So we have about a few more weeks before it's out, which I know is deeply upsetting. It's like one of the saddest things ever. It did kind of happen with all other updates and DLCs. Though. I, I don't know, I mean, <laughs> it's a weird relationship we have with Ark because it just it just lets down the community so constantly. But it's also one of the most epic games ever. I mean, there's, there's just a, a thousands of people complaining about wanting uh, double breeding, two times breeding, and to fix the lag, but I don't know, I can't really relate to that that much. My computer doesn't lag that much, but I don't know. So I freaking love ARK to death no matter what. They obviously need to get better with their updates, but from hiring people in the community to paying mod devs to keep supporting their mods to just constantly spitting out great update, updates and content, it's hard, to, it's hard to have any negative feelings, you know? All right, so this video is going to be kind of weird because I'm basically re-recording. I just recorded the stream and I'm just going to re-record over, put my face in the other corner and talk about like the gist, like important bits and such like that, that I was really into because it was kind of like a half hour stream with like 10 minutes of cutting edge stuff. So that's what I'm into. So, <laughs> so here we have the first thing. The first thing that's changed is, um, see right here, Structures Plus. That's their newest purchase mods. This is weird because I'm talking while they're talking. I'm just like quieting them because I, it's not that I don't care what they say. They're saying very important stuff. It's just I'm highlighting stuff. So this this was the, the main new change is that now Structures Plus is now being added into Arc. Like now that's an official Arc sponsored mod, which is awesome. I mean, I, I'm, uh, it has over a million downloads, like literally Arc Structures it, yeah, the mod literally has over a million downloads. It has t twice as many downloads as I have subscribers <laughs> to put the <laughs> to put the strength of this freaking mod into play. But yeah, this is exciting because this is like by far one of the best building mods ever right here. Like it's it's if you don't use obviously it's it's weird to talk about because everyone already uses it. It's it's so freaking popular. Should have been in there a while ago. All right, so here we get our first glimpse of aberration. In a few minutes, we'll start playing around and stuff. They they had to uh, get the admin code for the server to mess around with shiz. But this was super freaking cool. All right, so there's a few things just go over really quick while they while they figure their shiz out. There is no weather effects in aberration. That's just not a thing because obviously you're like underground for the most part. So instead of weather effects affecting you. You get natural disaster type situations, earthquakes being a main one. And one of the cool things about earthquakes is it shakes material loose. See, there is sunlight exposed too. Later on, you'll need a hazmat suit when you go up towards the sun. You're like too close to the sun or something. It'll destroy your body. See, they're still, they're trying to get like, I think they had to, uh, they had to swap out PCs right before the stream. So they were trying to get in the same tribe. But yeah, when there's earthquakes and stuff, resources fall from the sky, like rocks and gems. And gems are used to craft different things. It's awesome. Well, so this is where everything's growing because it's getting the sunlight. Um, I think a, a really good part of this is like loads of caverns that you can kind of climb and then there's huge cliffs Ooh. so it makes a very, makes, yeah you can see this in the part, background this there's part a lot of cliffs. Exploring this climb is very fun, especially with the, the new items we've introduced to this game mode. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful map um, right there. There's some important gameplay aspects about Aberration which make it very different to the other maps you've, you've played so far. So first of all, uh, uh, outside of the Fertile Chamber, Aberration is mostly underground and you're dealing with harsh and like harsh environments with a lot of radiation, there's a lot of environmental hazards, like oh, you know, poisonous gas, there's like poisonous gas, sorry. Um, you can deal with uh, like very extreme sunlight that can burn you. There's um, there's noxious gas. And yeah, see the sunlight like, will burn psychedelic you. Psychedelic mushrooms around. So there's- it's, Psychedelic it's, mushrooms? I cannot get our cheese It's pretty, it's pretty different fun. to- uh, Yeah. You wanna have like psychedelic sword fight mushroom contests. With Scorch Death, we had a lot of weather mm -hmm. hazards that were affecting how things work, and then now it's uh, now it's a bit now it's more about the environment. So like the plants are dangerous, the animals. Yeah, see there we go. The plants are dangerous, animals, and earthquakes and such, which they'll get to in a little bit. Side of cave. So we're, we've actually gone through different ways to to uh, incorporate localized hazards. So yeah. like as John mentioned, like we've got gas, we've got oh, oh actually and what's this happening is, right this now? Is an earthquake. We are in an right earthquake now, yeah. currently. As you can see we've got bits of pieces falling from the ceiling. That's awesome. Look at that earthquake right there. That's beautiful. Sometimes fall from the ceiling as well. Yeah. We have uh, one of the new resources is gems will fall from the ceiling. And also rocks that you can just like literally go and yeah. pick up off the gems ground, and rocks baby fall from the ceiling. Um, 
I'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit into the video. Over here while we try to figure out, um, into the stream. Our, we had to switch computers right before this because we weren't able to download the build yeah. fast enough. Look at this earthquake tearing the freaking land apart. It's nuts. Make do in the meantime. So, yeah. um, this build that we're actually playing in the physical structures wow. build here is built by. Oh wait, here's a gem by the way. Look at the we size of those gems. Yeah, the gems are a new resource that you'll yeah. find in Aberration. There's actually three three different types of gems, and they're used to craft items that uh, they, they different the different gems are used to craft different Aberration items. Yeah, so crafting ingredients. So something that new is that, awesome. that we just put in collaboration. Yeah. I wasn't really paying attention that much when I first saw this. <laughs> the purple gem here. I'm gonna walk us down here. <laughs> So this build, we have um, we have a, a great building team that we work with a lot, and they help she us. She said that was a really purple cool, gem, but it was a um, blue structure gem. Structure that's actually yeah. utilizing uh, one of the new, the new structures for operation, which is the cliff platform, which works very similar to the tree platform, except um, it's basically a better tier. Uh, so it's a stone, and I think it also uses metal, so no more wood. Um, and then well, you just good. flip it right into these cliffs like this, and then you can have your little cliff base. It's pretty cool. So that's trippy right there. So these right here, these cliffside platforms will not really be using wood. I take it wood's like a bit of a finite resource down here. I mean, there are trees, but stuff literally only grows where the sunlight shines. That's what she was showing with those mushrooms in the beginning. And then you basically just have these ladders. The coolest thing about these ladders, I'm just kind of summing up some facts, turning a five minute little bit into a two minute bit. Well, you know, we already saw in the original trailer, these ladders, when you extend them down, they just, they, you don't have to just place ladders infinitely until you get to the bottom. You just place it and it rolls down until it hits the floor and then you have your complete ladder right there. Should I just skip ahead through a few minutes of technical difficulties and we're back. We're not on my part, on their part. That's why this video is helpful. <laughs> <Here we go. laughs> okay, back at the beginning. I actually want to show- Okay, so that's, yeah, that's right. They finally got their thing working. Which is... Oh, um, yes. I'll be quiet for this part, too. This is really neat. We have different variants of all the creatures. So as you can see on the screen, we have Aberrant Parasaurus. And you're saying to yourself, you know, what does that mean? So... What does that I'm mean? Sure that's <laughs> time of day. I Let's already do. know. That should be dark. This is actually a really beautiful aspect. Nice. So they're saying there's different tiers of creatures, different dino variants, but we've only seen appearance. But I want to see the more, more of them, you know? There's so, going to be a few more, at least. Now that it's a little bit darker, you can actually see that these aberrant variants have these really cool patterns on them. And because aberration is, you spend so much time in the dark, we figured, how do we give players a way to get some sense of where they are or some sense of where the heck are all the creatures in this map? What, is this a vacuuming over at TwitchCon? non-specific creatures <laughs> to aberration so like the parasaur for example and um there's a, like the spino yeah uh, what is going on they all have well, not, not all creatures but, uh, but almost quiet, all of them yeah. have these cool patterns that kind of glow in the dark and uh you know you can tame them yeah take them play. i think throughout here we'll see like an apparent carno iguanodon apparent aberrant i can't I, 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 they're both pronouncing it differently but you see different variations of creatures like this which basically just make them a lot more visible at night which is important because much of this map is in the darkness so also we have... Oh, this little fart nugget. This is important right here. Also, there's no flyers on Aberration. Duly noted. You like base game creatures that you can find in Aberration. No. Uh, you guys probably remember this from the trailer. This is our little bulldog. Um, this little guy. <laughs> these are called lantern pets, and there's four of them. Uh, today we have two of them we can show you throughout the day. This is the bulldog. So the bulldog's really cool in that... Um, Basically, yeah, they work charge. as lights because in Aberration, there is this um, new mechanic called charge. <laughs> and there are multiple weapons, like the flashlight, for example, that will have charge. And these lantern pets all have charge. And you can collect charge by harvesting it. And yeah, it's available. It's a new resource. Yeah, it's a new resource. Yeah, yeah. So basically, the charge keeps you safe, one thing, from the nameless uh, that will come after you in the dark, so you always want to keep the one nameless. of these little lantern guys with you. Yeah. Otherwise, they will come after you, and you will have a sad time. <laughs> yeah. So not only are they super, super cute, but they're also um, necessary. What do you call survival. lantern pets? So we're going to pick up right our little there. bulldog. Bulldog. We only have one right here, too, the bulldog, but they were saying earlier, or right there, I don't know, I was reading the chat, because the chat's actually really funny, what was going on the whole stream. But there's four different kind of lantern pets, and you definitely, you, de you desperately need them when you go outside, or you're screwed. Grabbing the glider and the little picks, right? Yes, that's what's going on here. Dude, people were pissed as shit in the chat. There was like 7,000 people freaking out. I mean, a lot were excited for Aberration, but most were just pissed they weren't um, fixing a few other things that I don't necessarily deal with. So again, it's hard to uh, 
By the way, sorry if the video looks a little grainy and blurry and stuff. This is a recording of a stream. Like, this is their stream. Streams aren't infamous for being that gorgeous. Things like radiation, things like gas, um, things like... Sunlight, if you're on the surface. Sunlight, sun. yeah, yeah, sunlight is actually <laughs> a hazard once you're up on the surface. Yeah. Um, so the hazard suit's going to keep you safe from those elements, outside elements. The protector against the environments and the elements, yeah. yeah. Muy importante. We've also got our climbing picks, which I'm going to equip, and we've got our gliding suit. Awesome. So, so this is very, very important Look at this for little pimp. and a lot of our design was based on this. Um, we intended the map to be created without the use of having like like flies and pterodons, like uh, quets and pterodons just go going everywhere. We wanted people to use uh, oh, new mechanics great. of traveling, and one one example of that would be the gliding system. And we yeah, also... new mechanics, but also fun mechanics. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, there, there is, there's a lot of fun yeah. Fun new also, mechanics. Uh, added in uh, the climbing pick. This right here, this right here tripped me out, because right when they do it, we're about to see the glide right now, but someone in the chat is like, how are you gliding if you're not relying on going downwards to increase speed or get distances anywhere? It's like, it's, it seems like more of a jetpack glider, to be honest. Like, you're going to notice that right now. I don't know, the glider's kind of funky. I feel like it has some kind of superpower aspect. I'm not able to use right now, but that's okay. So there's a zip line. So basically, you would jump up on the zip line and slide all the way across and then you would end up at the top there instead i'm actually going to use our glider suit which you can see all right everyone pass their opinion in five seconds i'll fly over there Whee! see that thing just it's thrusted cool. forward like this is pretty fun, cool just like as you can combine that. them so now i've got my picks out that Bam. is awesome right now there. i'm hooked on the wall isn't that neat he's so neat. this is basically I would consider like a little If you want to get around operation, this yeah. is how you're going to be traveling. You're going you're gonna to exactly. be gliding, you're going to be using this your, your primary mode picks, of transportation right here. I don't know. I mean, I love the glider. That I have easy. no beef with it. I, I definitely went in the game and I love everything about it. But it's just, if if we're going dead realism, don't you have to kind of descend and then you, you know what I mean? We all saw, we all saw a Toy Story. Action, so I can move left and right as well. Yep. Ooh, shimmy. And of course, upwards. That and is then fancy the blue right there. It's like a hopover, so it allows you to jump Ooh. up and then... Oh, yeah. This is. I wish they did it upside down in this in this test play. You're playing the map. You'll want to get those skills tuned up. They really should have done upside down. My little my little bulldog has a little uh, circle of light around us. That means that he's pr basically protecting me in that radius by giving me a light source. That is so crazy. You got to be protecting your little light source, or you're dead. All right. So I fast forwarded a few minutes in because now we're at the creatures. She's checking out the Baron Iguanodon, Baron Carno, and stuff like that. You can see that my my bolt dog is lighting things up for me. I'm gonna pause it in a second because she just walks by these creatures. That you bear oh, there it is, the Carcanos. You can't still see it because their face cam's in the way. That's heartbreaking. Um, the lit up blades that are. Look at those rock drakes up there. So right these, here. these are very cool. I'll be quiet. Yeah, why don't you tell me a little these. bit about these, John? So the rock drakes are like probably going to be everyone's favorite creature of the of aberration. I think <laughs> they have um, some very <laughs> awesome mechanics. Um. They're, they're, so something very cool about them is they actually feed off. They prey, sorry, they don't feed. They prey on the reapers. So you guys may have known. It's when you saw the trailer, the reaper was uh, that big creature at the end that's like scowling. Uh, we call them the xenomorphs back then. And uh, when oh, yeah. they're in the vicinity that's of a so reaper, great. they're like feathers perk up because you know they get excited. They get to kill a reaper, and they're pretty cool. They can be tamed, um, ridden, and you're capable. You're, you're capable of using them to climb, and uh, like. Climb on walls and ceilings. Um, you can even go upside down, and it doesn't like doesn't affect you. I feel like he's reading a script right now. I think, and the Megalonia. Yeah. This is like a, a glider version of that. Dude, this thing eats xenomorphs. That kind of allows it to jump jump onto. So when you're flying forward, you can use it to like jump onto a wall, it's like a, a clinging movement. It's like a it's like the Thalicos leap, I guess, right? Except this mm -hmm. is done like in the, in the middle of the air. That thing is and, um, sweet. It has its oh. own dive bomb attack, attack and the the way. You find these uh, in its own trench area. So similar to how we have the Riven Trench in Scorched Death, we'll have a trench area. That's awesome. It's going to be a Rock Drake trench area, and that's where they'll be found. That's so freaking... That's beautiful. It's so well done. Oh, it's, it's, it's genius. And that. They go invisible. The cloaking. That, that's pretty cool. You, you'll even see wild ones uh, stealth. And yeah, it's pretty scary when you find one in the wild, and they're cloaked up, and they just, like, attack you, and you're like, ah, what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> That is pretty damn insane. They sort of have indom cloaking abilities. Now they seem to be like the yeah, main alpha creature it. around here oh, for yeah. the most that part. He's saying like they eat they, Xena. The Xena is like a creature the at the very end of the, the preview the where it pops out of the ground. From, like, the and it apparently has the ability to, to, um, just how much to impregnate a player with a chest burster, you know what I mean? So if this could just destroy him instantly, I mean kill him and eat them, like that's what it eats is those xenomorphs. So I would imagine 
These drakes are like some of the strongest creature. Oh, that is cool. All right, skipping a few more minutes into, what's it called? I wrote it down, the bioluminance chamber. Ooh. All right, fast forwarded now into the bioluminescence chamber. This place looks downright crazy. My favorite part about it by far is the sea life. It reminds me so much of like Avatar, for example. It's yeah. so pretty. It's pretty fun. We actually have something very special. Yeah. She's so oh, right. It's just like Jeff Avatar. That, you can actually see some glow bugs up on my left side right there. I just want to point those out. Yeah. You actually can't see them because um, of the face cam. Before which one, we put in a little challenge for anyone who is actually attending the show. There is a... Uh, Look at this place. A, a Reaper Queen in the chamber. And if anyone is able to, you know, successfully do that, we would be very impressed. Nice. Look at him flying around in the hazmat suit. <laughs> it's like right here. Look, look in the ocean or the water. Yeah. And all kinds of stuff. So this is look at it in there and right there too. I'm talking. I don't even care. Just rewind it for a second. I'm going to see. Hang on. What is that? Okay. No, I think. Okay. No, I thought it was <laughs> there's still a lot of weird stuff going on in the water, man. All right. So that right there is a bunch of aberration information released right there. We got to see so much stuff going on. I'm so freaking excited. Harper, look at him fall over and fall forward. It's so adorable. Yeah, really sad. I have to wait a few weeks, but it'll be worth it because aberration looks like it's going to be insane. So yeah, make sure if you're if you're excited for aberration, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. It's time to get in here.